वेलकम टू माई व्यूज न्यूज सैटरडेज फर्स्ट वीडियो विद सम न्यू स्टोरीज फ्रॉम कोरम मैकले एंड एरटिया व्यूर्स कोरम इज इन सदन टेगराए मोर देन अ वीक अगो इथियोपियन फेडरल फोर्सिस एंड हमारा रीजनल फोर्सिस एंटर्ड एलमाता एंड कोरम इट सेम्स दैट ई एन डी एफ एंड हमारा फोर्स इन फुल कंट्रोल ऑफ कोरम a clip for you and secondly makale this clip is being shared by some eritrean activists uh, which is from makale they claim that the clip shows uh, a man wearing eritrean military uniform caught on the camera because the man uh, was seen in the background of uh, a report which was being shared on tegarai tv on the basis of this clip uh, several claims are being made several allegations are being leveled against tigray forces tigray government and third viewers abdi salam babikar un special rapporteur on eritrea a few hours ago submitted a report to un general assembly about human rights situation in eritrea and some alarming revelations by abdul salam babikar in this report he uh, talked about detention centers torture centers in eritrea and secondly he talked about some afars from eritrea who crossed into ethiopia a few days ago and who want to seek asylum in ethiopia but they are being denied asylum uh firstly viewers koram a uh, sadan tegarai we know that more than a week ago ethiopian national defense force and amhara forces they captured large territories in sadan tegarai waja timoga elamata bala koram almost entire raya large parts of raya have come under the control of amhara forces and Ethiopian National Defence Force and front line is not in Koram because the uh, videos are being shared by state media from Koram live coverage uh, is being done from Koram by state media uh, people are returning to their homes in Koram Koram is under full control of Ethiopian federal forces and Amhara regional forces Amhara forces Amhara militias are leading the war in this third round of fighting it was said by general vere the as well two days ago he said that on different fronts uh, unlike the first phase of the conflict this time amhara forces are at the front and we know that amhara forces were trained in eritrea uh, amhara militias were trained in eritrea amhara special forces were trained by eritrean instructors last year and those amhara militia members amhara forces who were trained in eritrea they are playing a key role in this war because they are fighting at the front in southern tigray front koro uh, melmata front there was no eritrean military only amhara forces amhara militias and ethiopian national defense forces Why this clip from Koram showing how people are returning to their homes in Koram? Life is returning to uh, routine in uh, Koram. Watch this clip. Basha Baruna Borariu Ewat Budin Leber Kata Orat Gipsi Fas Amibati Koye Chu. Ya Koram Kata Ma Aun Le Uda Kada Mo Salame Yung Kisik Kasiwa Ya Tama Lis Chumo Nu Ya Kata Ma Anu Aru Yish Tana Agro Ali. Nu Aru Yuchu Anda Tana Agro Tu Bale Fawa Ma Tati Shibru Burnu Hewat Tornat Bama Kifatu Mekniyat Banu Ro Uda Nasi Sak Ayu Inda Na Barna. Basalaam Wattaw Magbat Yem Mai Chulub Bad Darja Darsaw Inda Na Barna. Second viewers we have a small clip from Tegarai's capital Makale. The clip shows a report by Tigray TV from Makale. A reporter can be seen uh, and in the background a man uh, can be seen walking going past the reporter. The man going past the reporter in the background is wearing a military uniform similar to the military uniform worn by Eritrean soldiers. 
This clip is being shared by several Eritrean activists. They say that this documentary, this report was aired on Tegarai TV just the three days ago. It, it means that in uh, Makele, people are wearing uh, Eritrean military uniform. On the basis of this video clip, some Eritrean activists uh, and new sources are claiming that uh, uh, Tigray is now planning a false flag uh, operation against Eritreans. There could be, uh, in, in the coming days, Tigray could show Eritrean POWs who wouldn't be Eritreans, but uh, uniforms have been uh, prepared by Tigray authorities and Tigrayans will be made to wear Eritrean military uniforms. Uh, I am uh, unable to say something uh, for sure about this clip, uh, that who is this man walking past the reporter in the background in this clip. Obviously, he is wearing military uniforms similar to the one worn by uh, Eritrean military. Are there any militias in Tigray who wear a uh, uniform which is similar to Eritrean military uniform? Watch this clip from Makele. <laughs> Lastly, words, uh, an alarming report, another alarming report about Eritrean human rights situation. Nothing new though that uh, Abdul Salam Babikar, UN Special Rapporteur on Eritrea, has been submitting reports on human rights situation to UN General Assembly since 2020 uh, when he was appointed uh, as UN Special Rapporteur and uh, Eritrea is a member of UN Human Rights Council. Uh, so being a member of UN Human Rights Council, uh, Eritrea is obliged to follow international uh, norms and rules regarding human rights, uh, respect for human rights, but it does not seem to be happening. Uh, Abdis Salam Babigar has shared some details of human rights abuses being committed by Eritrea. Yesterday, Abdis Salam Babigar submitted a report to UN General Assembly about human rights situation in Eritrea. The report mentions grave human rights violations being committed in Eritrea. There are secret places of torture in Eritrea called villas, where political opponents journalists are tortured. A large number of political opponents, journalists are in prison. Clergy men uh, are also being arrested. In recent days, this campaign has intensified. Indefinite uh, military service uh, ongoing. Blockade of Tigray, uh, of which uh, Eritrean military is part of continuing as well, leading to humanitarian crisis in Tigray. And other uh, allegations were leveled by Abdul Salam Babikar against Eritrean government. Abdul Salam Babikar is banned from visiting Eritrea when he was appointed as UN Special Rapporteur on Eritrea to monitor human rights situation in Eritrea. Uh, the move was opposed by Eritrean government. Since then, he was not allowed to enter Eritrea. So, all his reporting is mainly remotely done uh, through, through interviews, through other sources. Uh, he uh, compiles a report, but he has never been to Eritrea since his appointment as UN Special Rapporteur. One important point made by Abdul Salam Babir in this report is that uh, some Afars from Eritrea crossed into Ethiopia a few weeks ago. They are at Asaita refugee camp, which is in a far region of Ethiopia. But they are being denied uh, asylum. They want to seek asylum in Ethiopia, but Ethiopian authorities are denying them asylum. We know that a few days ago, some members of Eritrean Defense Force uh, from a far ethnic group, uh, they rebelled and uh, they crossed uh, into Ethiopia. There was fighting on Ethiopia, Eritrea border to Eritrean military launched an operation. Some uh, EDF members, they were arrested uh, 
on Ethiopian soil and they were forcibly taken uh, from Ethiopia to Eritrea. Some managed to reach this refugee camp, Asaita refugee camp. But their Ethiopian authorities are not cooperating with them. They are facing difficulties in seeking asylum in Ethiopia. Ethiopia and Eritrea are hand in glove. That is why uh, Eritrean intelligence agents have uh, influence, presence in Ethiopia. So that is why these uh, FARS member of EDF from Eritrea are facing difficulties regarding uh, their request to seek asylum in Ethiopia. But at least now this issue is being highlighted by UN Special Rapporteur. Overall low improvement in human rights situation in Eritrea. Eritrean military involved in Ethiopia in the conflict in northern Ethiopia and inside Eritrea as well. Situation is the same but Eritrea is a member of UN Human Rights Council. People say Sajid you unduly criticize uh, Eritrean government. Whatever is shared by Eritrean government, their official statements, uh, uh, Yemenis, uh, tweets, statements, I always share on this channel. Now, if UN Special Rapporteur uh, has shared a report on Eritrea, obviously it must also be shared on this channel. And uh, secondly, no independent international bodies, human rights bodies have access to Eritrea. It is only Eritrean government uh, which is uh, uh, doing whatever it is doing in Eritrea. So there is no authority to monitor the human rights situation in Eritrea. Eritrea should be opened up. Uh, if not Western, at least uh, African Human rights bodies, human rights uh, organizations should be given access to Eritrea. 